Capricorn. No, wait. Why did I say Capricorn? <laughs> I'm sorry, Sagittarius. Whoa, Capricorn was about to take your, your reading, right? Sagittarius, this is going to be your beginning of June. What is it? Reading. Oh my God. Okay, so right off the bat, I feel like you guys are kind of confused, lost, uh, stuttering a lot when you think about your person, right? <laughs> Kind of a loss for words. Um, so I'm gonna start with the past, present, future, followed by some clarifiers. Then we're gonna jump into oracles and end your reading with some messages from your person. Yes. Okay. All right. So, let's see. what's going on with Sagittarius's person? Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Beginning of June. Sagittarius for the beginning of June. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, the moon, the moon. So you could be dealing with um, what is the moon again? I forgot. Wow, how can I forget? Well, okay, so you're dealing with the Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra. You could have Libra in your chart birth chart. If you don't know what your birth chart is, there's um, there's a link in the description box for you to figure that out. Um, you can like really get really good insights, right? Off of your sun, moon, and rising. <sighs> All right, so here we go. So, I do see here um, that there was a wheel that turned. The wheel was turning for you, okay? Um, wow, okay, I do see here that you're also learning, that you're also trusting in the divine, you're trusting your intuition, okay? Um, and you're also um, educating yourself. You're being, um, you're sponging in the information that is coming to you. Um, you could be working also with spirit. You could be co-creating as well. Um, I do see here that in your past, you did have a lot of choices. You did have options possibly, okay, aside from your person. Um, and you saw that. So I see now in your um, current energy that you are thinking about your person here with the Six of Cups, right? You are thinking about the past, the happy memories that you guys had. And um, as well as uh, sort of like seeing what the progress is for you guys or your personal progress. But you're also, I see you're also keeping up on like uh, finding out, maybe you guys might have like mutual friends and stuff. And you guys could be like hearing word about, oh, like, you know, this person this and this person that, you know, like, hey, uh, Sagittarius, what do you think? You know, do you think they're doing the right thing? And you kind of just like stay quiet, I feel. Um, um, but there is like a decision here. There is judgment that's being called upon in your current energy. So um, we're gonna get some clarifiers on that. For your Reese, uh, for your near future, um, <laughs> for your near future, I do see that there's going to be justice here, right? And there's going to be efforts that are going to be placed into kind of like this creative partnership that you guys are having, that you guys are bringing in, that you guys are going to be bringing back, right? You want this, um, you want this kind of like 
this bond to happen again and you're waiting for that all right so the wheel turned even though you were kind of like wishy-washy about this person you could have been um having um you could have been dating but you really connected with this other person right that's justice that's justification uh to like the the high priestess the high priestess um being that of um how can i say it uh, kind of like weighing out the pros and cons, right? It's kind of like finding an equilibrium of what was going on. You're being educated with the ins with the choices that you had here um, in the past. You could have had choices. You could have had um, like a lot of maybe maybe other suitors and stuff. Oh, okay. So at the bottom of the deck, I do see the ten of cups. Okay, and you're waiting for actually you're waiting for something, to, a decision to move on, because you do want to succeed in this offer that's coming up. You could have had a lot of choices. There's also opportunity to prosper, right? But there's lies and mistrust. Okay. Well, anyway, so back to your reading. <laughs> I just got like sidetracked. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> that always freaking happens um okay so there is like uh, to the point where um you're paying attention to detail on you could have been paying attention to like other people um or other options or other energies whatever um i'm saying like as in like when you had options it doesn't always have to be like a person it's kind of like when you had options between work school uh, maybe your kids right um family um maybe projects hobbies and stuff like that you know again it doesn't always have to be a person so and you chose like all these other choices like all these other options um and that kind of like the wheel turned on you when you were still kind of like oh shit like what's happening so yeah you're definitely manifesting your person right now you're definitely manifesting your person from your past the person that you're thinking about you're also like paving way you're also like having creative ideas you're birthing ideas to like how this is going to come about right you're also thinking of like how you're going to collaborate with your person okay so with the page of wands here it's kind of like good news is coming about um and with that being said uh it's it's where pri uh priorities um need your need your um need to be like kind of um thought out um how can i say you need to set your priorities straight. You need to set your priorities in order, right? So this is what you're birthing. This is what you're creating. This is what you're coming in uh, about. Like where you do want to make time for this person. Um, I do see here where it's kind of like you kind of, uh, you go in guns a blazing and then ask questions later, right? Sagittarius, like I don't know much about, <laughs> you know, law and stuff, but you know, I think it's kind of like, ask questions first shoot later right <laughs> um so let's see you want to have strength to bring uh justice so justice is here twice in your reading right um i do see here where I do see here where the offer is going to be very slow okay it's slow move me moving right it could have been like where you guys weren't really in a relationship yet you guys were like still in, the, in like the beginning stages um but because you want this like partnership this creative partnership with your person like you're going to be basing it off of um experience and logic like you really either like you I don't know if you're like going to be really like aggressive about it or they're going to be aggressive about it but it's kind of like they're going to they're going to say like hey or you're going to say like hey look like this is these are my needs and this is how I see like how a relationship should be like you know what are your insights right and you know and then it goes off from there so there's that communication that you want to have with your person, you know, it's kind of like, look, I was like juggling, you know, a lot of options, you know, <laughs> if you were juggling people, you kind of don't want to be like, look, I was juggling you and then like these five people, but you know, you were the one that stood out the most, or maybe you guys have like an open conversation like that. You guys are open about communicating like that, right? So, you know, take however you guys take it. 
So here are some wisdom oracles. The first one that popped out is, so the number is, oh, 888. So the infinity sign, right? 888. Do, do, do. Serendipity, opportunity aligned with readiness. So either you or your person are getting ready for like this relationship that's coming about. Okay. To be fair, remember justice came out twice. Fairness, okay, justice, you know, by the books, right? Balance, justice, mutual benefit. So this this relationship most likely will benefit both of you guys, right? You guys will have like a learning kind of um you guys will learn from one another. Community, belonging, like-minded um, connections. So the tribe, so honestly, so what I'm getting is you really bonded with this person. And although kind of like, you know, matters at hand kind of needed, you know, help at first. Okay. Oof. Okay, so this was a new love, right? A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Um, so like I said, you know, this isn't like someone like that's really like back, you know, like a, what is that called? Blast from the past or something? I'm getting that? I don't even know what that means. What's a blast from the past? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, so... Yeah, new love. Um, it could have been where either you're seeking out new love or something new with this person. You guys weren't really at that stage yet where, um, cause I don't see love here. I don't see any cups here, any emotion, but you did want to start something new cause you like clicked so well with your person, right? Um, separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So this can be where this, this was actually meant to be where you had to get your shit straight and then they had to get their shit straight too. It's, it could be like, you know, take it however it resonates, right? Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship relationship going so this was probably what you were going wishy-washy about in your um recent past it's kind of like oh like i don't really see myself with this person like i have so much shit that i'm juggling around right now like do i really need to be in a relationship you know sometimes sagittarius it's kind of like if you really want to be with that person you make time for that person simple right so i don't know but that's imo imo I just read the cards, you know? Whoa. Okay. So, I guess you only got one. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Look at her. Do you see her? Do you see her dancing? You could be a dancer. You guys could have gone dancing. You guys could have met at a club, right? Um, and this is like, this is what takes you back. This is what like gives you so much energy is like dancing and being joyful, being a kid once again, right? Um, you guys could have like the same taste in music I'm getting. You guys, yeah. You guys could have the same taste in music. All right, so for your Rebel Oracle, we got You Do You. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. Ooh. So maybe you're a little bit controlling, Sagittarius. You are being shady. Watch out, shit could get ugly. Yeah, so you want to be careful what's going on. It could have been like where you were just like, you know, you're all over the place in your head. You are going through some tough shit. Okay. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. So yeah, that's, that's where it comes to like where you're manifesting, you know, something new, right? This is in your current energy and you're birthing kind of like a decision that you're making because you're setting your priorities straight, right? Or, you know, you're thinking about it. Do you want to say anything else? Okay, one more time. All right, now, so it is what it is, right? Keep it short and sweet, Sagittarius. Short and sweet. <laughs> I feel like you're from like... 
you like a lot of like one of the uh, I don't even know like I'm not into like mobster movies but I feel like you're in you guys like probably had like talked about into like maybe like how the people from Jersey Shore speak kind of like that you guys like joked around like that let me know if it resonates <laughs> and now I am the bad guy <laughs> holy shit okay I have your picture saved in my phone dude I swear like I shuffled these you mean the world to me. Oh, I feel that I am losing out on love. So yeah, like, dude, like maybe you guys had this chance, but maybe it just wasn't like the right time. I want to see you. Holy shit, I think you are so sexy. Don't pressure me. And this is weird. I mean, not weird, but I still love you. So, it could have been like where you guys were starting to have feelings and this person most likely um or you did they had like the feelings came out out of nowhere and then i think that's when you started juggling sagittarius honestly that's when you started juggling you, sh you started like maybe like burying your bur burying burying yourself in your work or this is how you created like other choices, right? Or other options. And you were like, no, 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 like this isn't happening. And then you just like cut it off, right? Okay, so this has been your um, beginning of June reading. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for all the love, you guys. I can't wait to start doing live readings. Bye.